So I want to just talk a little bit about, about meditation. I talked a bit in a previous video about oh, in terms of like the ambiance um, that I like to create when I meditate. And I like to light a candle. Um, I'm really careful that if I light a candle that I don't lay down to meditate because of the chances of falling asleep and I don't want to have a candle on while I'm sleeping. I like to have music um, usually without lyrics and um, something that's calming and beautiful and um, sometimes I like to have a fan on uh, the sound of the fan um, always want to be in a safe comfortable environment um, and so those are some of the external things um, I like to be in a position that I can hold for the entire time it's not I wouldn't even say hold the position it's just stay in the position um, completely relaxed so I don't want to be in a position where um, you know my foot's gonna fall asleep or um, I'm going to feel pressure in a certain place or whatever and then I don't move during meditation so there's no movement it's all completely relaxed and there's no movement so it's if I have an itch I'm not gonna scratch it um, I'm just going to leave it there and it'll go away. Um, I'm not going to be moving around. So it's just completely still, but I'm not holding. It's not tension to stay still. Um, it's just so relaxed that I don't move. Most of the time I don't have the issue with getting an itch and wanting to scratch. Um, it'll happen sometimes, but I find most of the time it doesn't happen. Um, I like to take a shower sometimes before I meditate. That's not always the case, but I know that is... Um, something that's relaxing and so um, it just I think adds to the relaxation and then what I'm doing is I'm staying awake while my body is very relaxed um, so now what happens internally so what happens with my thoughts as I meditate I think a lot of what how the mind is when a person is awake you know um, it's reflected in sleep. So uh, the mind can have many different thoughts. It can think and go all over the place. It's just one of the things that it can do and that it does sometimes. So um, with meditation, it's about calming the mind and being um, in that present moment. So I like to create a pleasant moment to be in and um, be there. So even though my eyes are closed and I'm not moving, I'm present in the room that I'm in and that space that I'm in and I'm experiencing that either that silence or um, the music that's playing or if there is there are birds chirping outside or leaves, you know, blowing in the wind or whatever it is that's going on, I'm there present and I'm experiencing it. What happens and what's really common and what I hear sometimes um, people say in regards to meditation is that, um, is that they, um, they cannot keep their mind still, that they are thinking about a lot of different things and that they just continue and their mind just continues to think about a lot of different things and it's really difficult for them to calm their and it's really difficult for them to calm their mind so I I think that that's normal and I think it takes time to um get to a place where a person can just be completely calm um what I do with meditation is um I want to hold those periods of time where there's just a pause in in thinking uh, then all of a sudden I'm meditating and then um, all of a sudden I'll think about, I don't know, something that happened in 1999 or something that happened a year ago or something that happened earlier that day or a conversation that I had or a conversation I'm going to have or something I have to do or whatever it is that, you know, making a list of things I have to buy at the store or whatever, you know, um, whatever's going on in thoughts and in terms of, you know, thinking. And then I'll just say, oh, I just thought about something that happened in 1999. And then I'll redirect my thoughts to the present, kind of like, well, I'm here and this is where I am. And I'm just there in that moment. 
And then um, if my mind decides to go off and say, hey, I'm going to go to the grocery store later and what else do I need to buy? And then I'll catch myself and say, oh, I was thinking about a future event. I was planning for a future event. And now I'm back in the present. And then if I think about something that happened a year ago, um, then I say, oh, I was thinking about something that happened a year ago. Now I'm back to the present. And so I'm redirecting myself and um, being in the present and then trying to hold that present moment as much as possible. I do find that um, it translates into the dream world. And um, with dreams, there are dreams that are sort of like busy dreams. It'll kind of just, I feel they're just sort of like noise uh, in the sense that um, they're not deeper dreams. And they're just sort of um, kind of daily activities, reviewing daily activities and just different thoughts and, you know, someone's worried about something upcoming, whatever, or whatever. Um, those kind of dreams are just, I kind of think of them as surface dreams. And then once a person can get past that, uh, they can enter other realms of um, more um, of deeper dreams, um, like um, where lucidity happens, um, where time is experienced differently, um, realms where there are um, other beings. So it's the same, I think, with meditation. There are those surface thoughts, worry thoughts, you know, thinking about a conversation a person had in the past or one that one is planning on having in the future or plans of something someone needs to do you know the mind will carry on like that you know just thinking about different things in the past in the future different times and the mind can travel in an instant to you know 10 years ago 15 years ago 30 years ago or whatever um at different times and it can hop around and think um and see different things and then it can also hop into the future you know planning on things and making lists and organizing things and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm redirecting my mind and I'm saying I'm in the present and I start thinking about the present moment. So just the feeling of existing in that moment and whether there's a fan on or I can hear birds outside or, what, or the silence and just, or music if I have music on. And I'm there in the present and I'm experiencing the present and that's what I'm doing. And so um, that is um, part of meditation. Um, once I get past those surface thoughts and those surface thoughts start to disappear, then I go into deeper meditation. And I find the same um, for dreaming, that there are surface dreams, dreams that are sort of uh, the day's events or events the past few days or you know, whatever's going on and it's surface stuff and it's kind of just there. I call, for me, I call those surface dreams. Um, and then once those are, I would say, once a person gets past those and can be in a state where they're beyond that, then other types of dreams take place that are quite amazing. <laughs> so, um, so there's, I believe, a direct connection between meditation and dreaming. And when it comes to lucid dreaming, um, enhancing lucid dreaming, I would even go as far as to say causing lucid dreaming. I would say meditation um, leads into the dream world and has a direct effect on the dream world. And meditation trains the mind for different kinds of dreaming.